Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 26. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so we are here doing the Rallycross World Tour. Now we're going to the LA Coliseum, first of all, for five laps on every single one of these races. We have a choice of Rallycross or Group B, and we are going to be taking. Hmm. Which one do we want to take? I want to take the. Uh, 207 T16. I think that'd be a nice card to take, so we'll go for that one. Right, so for this race, our first challenge is to win the first lap. Let's do this. Oh, look at these cars. One, go. Right, so we need to be in first place by the end of the first lap. Right, squeeze through the middle here. Tanafau's going wide in his Ford Fiesta. Does win the first lap mean the fastest speed, though, or does it mean being in first place? I think it meant B in first place, so uh, I think we've lost that. But the Michelin man is going around the corners very nicely. Coming up to this corner. We have a Subaru behind us. Awesome. Across the line onto a lap number three. Here we go. Perfect. And slowing down. Ooh, tap the inside there. Perfect. Onto a lap number four. One minute thirty one point one nine nine so far. Squeezing through in the middle again. Oh, we've gone very wide through that corner. Right, slow in, slow in, onto the brakes. Nicely done through there. Here we go, come on, nice. Perfect. Slow down, get around the corner, very nicely done there. Perfect. And across the line, 2 minutes 29.691. Very Post nice. That footage on YouTube. Post that footage on YouTube. Let's go, next round. Right, so for this race we need to beat an overall time of 4 minutes and 34 seconds. Let's see if we can beat the Oxy Subaru this time as well. Again. Right. Oh, that Evo 10 though looks amazing. I think we might be taking an Evo 10 throughout this world tour at some point. Oh, hit into the side of that MG Metro there. Right, jump for days. Woo! Right, squeezing through here. Nicely done. Perfect. Oh, we've been spun out. Cheeky tactics from the other driver, drivers there. All right, slowing back down very quickly there. But nicely done through that section. Right, over the jump. Woo! Yeah! Awesome. Perfect. Nicely done.
Perfect. Speed is key. Watch out for that little overhanging bit of dirt, though. We need to make sure uh, to be careful of that. Oh! Ah, oh, the RS200 has spun out and flipped over as well. We've actually crashed our car ourselves. Paid attention to it. Right, here we go. Over the jump. Woo! Yeah! Nicely done. Oh, we just spun the oxy car out. Going through the Coliseum gates. Nicely done round there. Perfect. And tap of the handbrake. Perfect. We're looking at a very good time here. We've got two more laps to go after this. Over the jump. Woo! I have just noticed, right? Um, so when I started this channel, it was going to be a racing game only thing. But then when it came to February, I was like, yeah, nah, that's going straight out the window. We did Far Cry New Dawn. Tom Clancy's. Obviously, this is like February last year, 2019. Um, and we've done so many other games. But lately, like, we did Yakuza as well. Um, what else have we done that's not been racing games? We did something else as well. I can't remember what it is. But lately, it's just been everything has been racing games. Like, no non-racing game content. Um, which is really cool. Like, I'm sort of focusing on the racing game more now. Um, because it is sort of my... Not specialty, but... Almost like my sort of thing that I like doing. And I feel like, obviously, when you start YouTube, you don't realise how important it is to focus on what you want to do. Um, again, that... That's sort of like my top bit of advice I would give anyone. It's like, oh yeah, just just focus on what you enjoy doing. And I enjoy racing games. So that's why there's been a lot of racing game content lately. Here we go, nice. I think it was 4.39, so I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to get our target time. But then again, we did spin the car out twice, so... Wouldn't be surprised. 4.41. But it was 4.34. We were miles off then. We had no chance. Not a chance in hell. Right, so for this race, we need to finish without taking any form of dallin da 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 dallinge. Damage, and I will take that challenge. That's what I was trying to say, but I ended up mixing words. I should work at Oxford Dictionary. I can make up so many words in a year. It's not. It's ridiculous. Damage, a dangerous challenge. Perfect. Right, keeping it close to the inside. We are trying not to have any form of contact though. So. That is going to be very challenging. Oh, whoa, that is, that's damage on the back. That's ridiculous. The car crashed into me. I'm going to still try and do it clean because I want to see if I, if it counted or not. It probably would have counted, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Oh yeah, I, I've messed that. That's damage easily. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't spin me out. No thanks. Oh. Right, 
Right, onto the brakes. Nicely done there. Meow. Right, slow in. Here we go. Lap number four. Lap numero cuatro. I'm not very good with foreign languages either, as you can tell. I did do German for a bit. Eins, zwei, drei. Vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. That's all I know. That's all I remember. Two years of German. Two years of German lessons, and that's all I remember. Oh, in Deutschland. But that's kind of easy. Literally, I know basic language now. It's ridiculous. Oh. Onto the brakes. Nice. Meow. Perfect. And across the line, first place. Nicely done. Right, on to the final race now of this championship. Right, so we are here on the LA Coliseum again. We are having to drift a total of 656 feet for a, today's Dallinge. <laughs> I'm going to make that a meme for the entire rest of the series. Not that there's much left of the series anyway. <laughs> We've just got to call them Dallinges now. Right, let's do this. Oh! So yeah, we're going to have to do the Drift Challenge. Oh, that was very nice. That was stylish. Right, over the jump. Yeah. Perfect. I want to see like LA Coliseum and those sort of maps come back in Dirt 5. Um, honestly, Dirt 5 is one of those games that I am looking forward to seeing how it progresses through the next few months. Seeing how um, any new leaks or anything. Obviously, so far, I'm recording this in June. And I think it's gonna. This video is gonna come out on August somewhere uh, because I've sort of been mass recording whilst we've been in lockdown. Um, lockdown's probably finished by now. I can guarantee you that. Um, but I've been mass recording everything, um, and so by the time this comes out, we probably know half the storyline for Dirt Five anyway. But. I am looking forward to seeing how the game actually turns out. Um, I do want to see, as much as I know it's like copying, but I want to see a Gran Turismo style where they go down different routes. So you have like a drift school, for example, um, where you sort of um, practice, do some courses, try and beat some times stuff like that um, and then you also have special missions and then your storyline your career mode and um, special events like invitations ones that are crazy that I just wouldn't fit in a career mode like a 24 vehicle rally cross race for example just something crazy like that and you have to try and overtake them all in 10 laps, for example. Those kind of things would be awesome to see in Dirt 5. And it's something they could do, because it's not even like programming that in would take much more effort. Um, because the whole basis of programming these games is you build a backbone. So you literally just build how the game runs in this, but you build tracks, cars, and the gameplay engine. And after that, any additional features, like extra races, they just have to copy and paste, like, oh yeah, we're having this race with this many laps, with this many cars. Simple. So it's not like that feature would be complicated to make. So it would be awesome to see that. Uh, but, 
3 minutes 15.5 so far in the race. We are halfway through lap number 4 already, which is pretty impressive. To be fair, we have been chatting a lot uh, this episode, so we could call this a chatting episode. Awesome. Across the line onto lap number 5. Slowing down, perfect. And across the line, there we go. First place, 4 minutes 35.6, which is still slower than our challenge before, and we still failed this one. Gosh darn it. Right, let's see what um how much rep did we actually earn and how many objectives did we do? We didn't do a single objective. In that entire thing, not a single objective. Wow. Right, so we are now moving on to Aspen. We have pretty much 20 laps to do in total. We're going to be starting out with group B and I think uh, let's go with the MG Metro. We haven't given that a drive in in a long while now. Right, so we are on race at 1 of 4. We have to beat a lap time of 40 seconds for this. 40 seconds is very quick. Let's go. Right. It's very blizzardy at the moment. Perfect. I think that's a Lancia Delta Stradale in front as well, which are very nice cars. Oh no! What have you done that for? Unbelievable. Right, we are far behind you now. So we are aiming for that 40 second lap time, which we are already well above. Right, we've got a lot of time to catch up now. Let's do this. Got an Audi Quattro up ahead. See if we can overtake him. Oh, slow down. Get into the inside there. Nicely done. Squeezing past the cars through here. Perfect. Over the jump. Jumps for days. And then slowing down. Around the corner. Nice. Passing the Hella Lancia Delta. Ford RS200, let's get past the Alpine Science car. Still looking to beat that lap time of 40 seconds though. Past the BP Ultimate Delta as well. 37, 38, 39, just below 40 seconds. Let's see if we can do it on this lap. Right, slowing down as late as possible onto the inside of the corner towards the outside then and back towards the inside perfect now perfect don't 
36, 37, 38. Hey, we got the lap time. 39.037 seconds. Right, onto the brakes again for the final lap. Sticking it as close to the inside of the corner there as possible. Getting a very good line through there. Oh, we've hit the wall. Every time you hit the wall, you should always uh, lift up just in case uh, the car starts to lose control. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Yeah, we were uh, a little bit slower on that lap. Three minutes, thirty-three point six two six. Right, on to the next one, please. Right, we are now on to the second race. We have to jump a total distance of 459 feet for this race. Let's go. I just pressed the uh, A button because I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo lately. Um, so I am very used to pressing the X button. Well, the A button on Xbox. But I've been used to pressing those buttons to accelerate and brake and it's really weird. It works though, Gran Turismo manages to do it so well. I do feel like I want to buy a PS2 to play Gran Turismo 3 and 4. Oh, it's very close there. Very good. Over the jumps. These are obviously the longer laps on this track. We're going to be looking at around about 5 minutes 30 to complete this race. Um, so sort of my target time is below 5.30. Hopefully we can hit that. Hopefully. Nice. Sticking it towards the inside of the corners through here. Whoa, very close to there though. And there goes a RS200 and an Audi Quattro overtaking us. Perfect, right. Sliding into those DMs past this hairpin corner. And we've messed the corners up again. No way. Unbelievable. That, uh... 5 minutes 30 is looking a little bit out of reach right now. Right, let's squeeze through these cars then. Perfect. Oh! RS200, get out of the way. Squeeze through on the inside of the corner. Nicely done. And overtaking, hopefully, before the line, overtaking this Peugeot 206. I think that's why it's cool. If it's not, let me know in the comments. Right. Oh! Hitting the back of the RS200 in front of us there. Come on, squeeze past. Oh, he's tapped the rear of my car. That was sneaky. Right, slowing down for this corner with a tap of the handbrake. Staying away from the inside of the corner this time. Still haven't overtaken that Peugeot. He's been gaining places in the pack. And we still haven't gotten him. Speeding up. And over the jump. We still haven't gotten the challenge yet, Alright, come on, let's get past the Peugeot. There we go, Peugeot has been dealt with. All we've got left is a Lancia Delta up in front and the Quattro, which we have just overtaken. Took that corner a little bit too hard there. Perfect. 
and slowing down. Nice. And onto the brakes. Perfect. Nicely done. And we've got our objective as well. Right, we are coming up to the final lap in a minute. Go okay, nice. Going very wide through that section there. Across the line onto the final lap now. Perfect. Winter X Games. Car behind is two and a half seconds behind, which is very good. We love a good gap behind. Nice. And we are so far ahead, we don't get a time anymore. Very wide through that. Okay, so we didn't get the 530. But we got 546. 546.463. On to the next one. Right, we are now on race three of four. We need to get the fastest lap time out of everyone in the competition. Let's go. Come on, little MG. We can do this. I think we are on a smaller circuit this time as well. Maybe. Oh! We've already ruined our chances at the start. But it is the fastest lap time overall, so we have four more laps where we can get that chance for that challenge. Perfect. 49.374. Hit the side of the wall there. Right, here we go. Nice. Slowing down. Perfect. Come on, kicker. Out of the way. What is that? Ah, oh, there is crashes happening everywhere. there we've just snuck past him on to lap number four
perfect corner through there. 252.512 for a lap time. Very nice. Right, slow down there. Perfect. Awesome. Right, through we go. Nice. And across the line, 2 minutes 32.512. Very good lap time there. And we got the fastest lap time overall, so nice. On to the next one. Right, so we need to win the first lap for 1,200 rep again. Let's do this. I think that means we have to come first on the lap, I'm pretty sure. Um, but let's just do it. Let's stop talking, let's get into the race. Nice. Contact has been made through there. Here we go. Onto the hairpin corner first of all. Nice. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Right. Sticking into the inside of the corners through here, passing the Audi Quattro. Nice. And a slow down for here. Perfect. Win the first lap. Well, we've completed that objective. The deltas are actually trying to catch up now. I couldn't see anything when I look behind then. Let's go. Pick up some more speed. Nicely done through there. Oh. Perfect. Awesome. On to a lap number three. Oh, very wide through there. Perfect. Speed is key. Right. Hit 100 miles an hour. Nice. Going through this section very quickly and spinning out at the same process. Not great. Oh, we've just ruined one of the deltas. He's completely crashed out there. Right, we've got an Audi Quattro now to overtake again. Onto lap number four, the car ahead is uh, 0.9 of a second ahead, and we are 0.9 of a second ahead of the other car behind us. But we have now overtaken the Quattro, very nice. The Quattro is very close on our tail. It's sticking with us for now. 
Let's see if uh, after this tree wintry section, once we get back onto the open air, we should be able to gain some more time. This bit. This is the bit last time though that we messed up on the last lap. So, and we've messed it up again. Perfect. We've got a long way to catch up now. And that Quattro has gotten far ahead. Three seconds. Three seconds we need to regain. To be fair though, we are very quick, so we can regain that quite easily. Christiansen, get out of my way. Right, over the jump, perfect. Awesome, right, around the corner. Crap! That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We made so many mistakes on this course. I don't like Aspen. It is the one track that I... I hope there's no tracks like Aspen in Dirt 5. Or if there is, that it's at least more controllable than this crap. Let's rewind that. Uh, from here. There we go. Much better. Right. Come on. Do we have enough time to regain? No! Completely messed up. Fifth place. Unbelievable. How? Overall, still first place though. I will take that. I can't believe that crash though at the end. It just ruined us. Unbelievable. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.